in a world full of tactical pumps and extendo tube semi-automatics, is there still a place for the over-under? Is this gun practical for you? Top 10 reasons why you might consider an over-under. Coming up on Modern Mountain Man. Number 10, becoming a well-rounded shotgunner. Now, hey, I'm all for having a single shot, pump, semi, all those guns. But, you know, if you don't have trigger time behind an over-under, a break action over-under, you know, you're, you're not a very well-rounded shotgunner and you're going to be talking to some guys at the clay range or something like that and you're just going to be out in the cold not knowing what to talk about and they're going to be like, you don't, you don't even know Vrunder, bro? What's up? So if you want to be a well-rounded shotgunner, you need some trigger time behind an over-under. Whether you own one, whether you rent it one, whether you bought one, shot it for a while, sold it, you need to have one of these. Number nine, another reason for why an over-under is it easier to find your spent shells. You know, whether you're shooting at a, a range where you have to clean up after yourself or whether you're in a hunting situation, mm -hmm. you know, when I shoot my, my semi-automatic here, Man, depending on where I'm aiming, it flings shells everywhere. And, you know, sometimes I find them, sometimes I can't. Um, but with, with an over-under, you know, you've got two different kinds. You've got ones with extractors and ones with ejectors. The extractor just lifts it up to where you can pick it up, drop it in your bag. Or, or the uh, ejector, you pop it open and boop, it just pops right out. But you know where it's going, and it's easier to clean up after yourself. Number eight, it looks fancy. Look, so this one right here is is actually a more of a budget-friendly uh, option. It's a uh, con um, made in Turkey, Artemis Supreme. Um, you know, you can probably pick one of these up for about three or four hundred bucks. And so this is sort of on the lower end of over unders. But even so, man, I can't tell you how many times I've had pump guys and automatic guys tell me how fine-looking my shotgun is. It just looks fancy. So. You know, whether you're trying to look like an old school NRA FUD or whether you are just a uh, southern aristocrat who wants to look like you're a part of the gentry or whether you just, man, you just want a nice looking shotgun. Looks are important. Number seven, a heavier front end balance. So with my, my semi as well as most of your pumps or whatever, most of your weight is here in the action, not so much out here. However, with your... Um, with your over under, you've got a little bit more of a front end heavy balance, which is which is good in some circumstances as far as your follow through and your swing and some of the balance that that creates. Number six, less overall length for the same barrel length. So one of the things with a, a break action gun, whether you're talking a single shot, over under, double barrel, is there's not a bunch of action back here like there is on a semi. So with a semi, your barrel doesn't start to here. So you've got all this wasted overall length on your action. Whereas with your, with your brake action, it, it begins right there. So I want to show you something real quick. Th this one is a, a nice long barrel. This is a youth model shotgun. When I set them both on the ground, this over under is only slightly longer than this youth model short pull um, 20 gauge here. But if I were to line up their barrels where they both begin, that's a considerable difference. See that right there? So you get four, five, six extra inches of barrel because you don't have four, five, six extra inches of action there. So another benefit to the over under. Practical hunting situation, that's a benefit of an over-under is it's easier to swap ammo. So you just pop it open, pull it out, put two more in. Why this is beneficial is man, when I'm when I'm waterfowling, I'm gonna have duck shot in here because the ducks come in quick. You know, the, the geese, they come in, they're kind of slow and lumbering and you hear them coming from a long distance. So I'm ready with my, my duck loads in here and, and all of a sudden I hear 
the, the Canadian geese honking in the background, pop, pop, throw it out, put it in, go. But also where I hunt, a lot of the hunting seasons run together. So I might be, I might be out quail hunting and, and all of a sudden I get into rabbit or I might be out quail hunting and I get into some deer or I might tick off a bear or my, my dog might tree a bear. You never know what you might have to swap out. So it's, it's an easy pull two out, throw two in, bam, you're good to go instead of grabbing this guy and, and shuck, shuck. So it's a quicker exchange of ammo. Another benefit to the over-under is you have two different chokes on the same gun at the same time. Why that's a benefit is this, you know, chokes affect your pattern and you want different patterns under different situations. Sometimes you want a big old wide pattern, you're shooting dove and you want to throw a wall of BBs at him. Or if you're shooting a turkey, you want that tight choke so it's all hitting him right in the throat. But, you know, there, there are certain circumstances under the same hunting situations where you want different shape patterns. You know, for instance, one of the reasons why I bought this over under was, was specifically for the purpose of turkey hunting. I've made shots inside of 10 yards, and I've made some that were 60 plus yards. Now, with to make a, an ethical 60 plus yard shot on a turkey, Number one, you need to have practiced with your gun, choke, and ammo combination to make sure you can make that shot consistently. So what you're going to need is an extra full turkey choke. You're going to need some sort of tight wad shell, and you're going to, like I said, need some practice. You get, get some of those turkey targets out there, see if you can put it in the kill zone, make sure you're not deteriorating the meat because you're just throwing a pattern, you know, so huge. But if you're throwing that tight of a pattern at 60 yards, in that inside of 10 yard range, you know, you're, you're throwing a pattern like, you know, the size of the, of the barrel. And, and, you know, that's maybe making a 10 yard shot with a rifle is easy, but sometimes that, that bead isn't so precise that you're making a rifle shot with a shotgun. It's good to have an extra full turkey choke on top and a modified choke on the bottom so you got more of a medium sized pattern for those inside shots. And the nice thing is with most over-unders, you can switch over to which barrel you're shooting. You can choose for just such an occasion. It's also good to have um, two different chokes for the, for the case of when you're out, say, wing shooting like dove shooting. You've got some for your up-close shots and some for your long shots there as well. Number three, an over-under is much less finicky when it comes to ammo. I, I once had a Remington 1187 that as long as I was running it on anything larger than a number six, it ran like a dream. Number six was kind of iffy and anything below number six, it was not going to shoot it. It wanted the high brass shells. You know, when it comes to different lengths of shells, you know, pumps, automatics, they can sometimes be finicky. You really have to prove which ammo you're using with your individual shotgun. It has to have enough recoil to cycle your action. It has to be the right size. And sometimes just there's a variance between one brand to another that makes them stick a little bit more than others. How, however, with these guys, if you can fit it in there, you can shoot it. And in addition to it not being finicky within the same gauge, so the, for instance, this is a 12 gauge, and I can shoot everything from three inches on down to those little stubby home defense guys if you'd like to shoot those in there. But in addition to that, I mean, you can buy tubes to put into your barrels in these, and you can actually convert your 12 gauge down to like a 12 gauge or 28 gauge. You can also put tubes in there where you can run rifle and handgun ammunition through it. So in addition to not being finicky about the various 12 gauge shots I can run through here, I could actually sub this thing out and use it for a few different things. Number two, a quick second follow-up shot. Now obviously my semi-automatic is gonna have the quickest third follow-up shot, but in terms of a second follow-up shot, I pull the trigger the firing pin hits the primer, which fires the shotgun shell. There's actually a certain amount of dwell time here. The pneumatic cycle happens. It brings this back. It brings it back into battery. And now I'm ready. There's a reset, and then I'm ready to pull again. Now, in that time period, well, whereas there's going to be a little less recoil to manage with the semi-automatic, there is that that motion of the action moving back and forth that actually kind of pulls you off shot a little bit. Whereas with my over under shotgun, I pull the trigger, reset, pull it again. And all that happened was the hammer moved from the top sear to the bottom sear really quickly. And so I can 
real quick. Whereas this this is only limited by my trigger finger speed. This is limited by my trigger finger speed and the cycling of the shotgun. And the final and possibly most important difference between running, say, a pump or semi-automatic versus running a brake action over, under, double barrel, single shot, any of those brake action types is the fact that you can brake it. The brake action itself creates a safety situation that none of the other ones can have. You know, when, it, when, I, when I've got it broken open like this, there's no accidental discharge. There's no safety malfunction possible. I, when, it, when it comes to crossing a fence while hunting, I break it open. I can unload it. I can do whatever. It's just, it's just safer. When you're on the range and you see this thing broken, you know that the other guy, when he's got a shotgun broken, it's safe. Whereas with my semi, you know, you drop a flag in there, you might see that. But on this side, you won't. My brake action, doesn't matter what angle you're looking at it from, <laughs> you always know that it's safe. So, just want to clarify, I love my semi, I love the tactical pumps, I love them all. I'm not against any form of shotgunning. I just want to defend our precious over-under. If this is for you, go for it. If, if you don't have a, a, an over-under, if you've never shot an over-under, Borrow a friend. Go, hey, go, go buy you a cheapo one like this. This is one that I I felt was just um, a good investment as far as trying the over under out before I invested in a in a fancy one that's actually nice. Um, you know, a high dollar Browning Satori or something along those lines. I just wanted to try one out, and so I got my feet wet with this one. I've done a lot of duck hunting with it. Done a lot of quail, rabbit. Uh, put down a turkey or two with it. This this thing has been a blast literally and uh i'm glad i bought it so this is modern mountain man saying god bless you go shoot yourself an over under and go take your mountain